I have done a full week of DoorDash, so I'm gonna do a breakdown here on money and how all of that works and how much I made. Of course, this will not be the same for everybody. This is just my experience in one full week. This is my whole spreadsheet of the whole week. This was the first day I ever did it. I worked three and a half hours, made $40.52. I drove 62.3 miles for a total of $28.52 once I minused the gas. So the first day it came out to $8.14 an hour. The second day was $10.53 an hour. As you can see by these daily breakdowns, it vastly changes per day. So Sunday I made $6 an hour, Monday was $5, but Tuesday I made $16. And that all was just because of how many dashes were coming into the dashboard and or how far I had to drive for each order. For the grand total at the end of the week, I worked 28 and a half hours. I made $361.95, I minused gas and it came out to around $9.94 an hour. Is that going to work for everyone? No. Is that working for me right now while I am kind of in a transition of trying to make online stuff work for me and trying to interview with other jobs and it's just kind of an extra where I don't necessarily need an insane amount of money, it's just kind of extra? Yeah. Um, is there positives and negatives to it? Of course there are, there is with any job. But full-blown honesty, I have never in my life had a job that I didn't have to rush to, that I didn't have to be there at a certain time, that I wasn't being yelled at or disrespected constantly all day every day at work. Would I think it would be, you know, a good idea for the long term to do full-time hours for? Probably not, just because the wear and tear in your car is eventually, it, it's not going to even out. You're not going to end up making enough to make it worth it. And yes, all of, you know, your gas is tax deductible and the wear and tear in your car is tax deductible. But when you're making like 6 to $8 an hour, those deductions aren't going to add up to enough to pay for what the car is going to need after driving all those miles. That's just my opinion. I think people sometimes are confused with tax deductions. They think that you're gonna get all that money that you pay out in gas back. You're not gonna get it back. You're just not gonna have to pay taxes on it or some of it, which doesn't actually equate to all that much money if you're doing this full time. Am I gonna continue to do it? Yes, I am for now. It's pretty relaxing as compared to every other healthcare job I've ever had in my life. I enjoy it, I listen to music. I don't dread going to it every day. It's a good change, so I'm gonna stick it out a little more and see what happens.